I am here in my new Korean apartment. Uh, I'm very, very excited to be here. It's very empty and messy right now, a little bit depressing because um, I don't have any furniture yet, but that will come. And when it comes, this room is going to be very, very cool and I cannot wait. Anyway, uh, cherry blossom season was had, has, has just been. The cherry blossoms have been blossoming cherries and naturally I wanted to go photograph that and capture it. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit different for these photos, not for any particular reason, but just because I love being difficult. Basically, I shoot the entire 35mm negative all the way to the edge of the frame, so you get the holes in it, you get the little text that says Kodak or whatever. Um, you take, you use the whole negative. I did this exactly a year ago, last time I was in Korea, uh, but I messed those photos up by doing the process of, of, of it wrong. So this year was my revenge, retribution, uh, my chance to get it right again. And so I went on a trip. Now, the reason the photos that I took last time didn't work is because of a thing called a red scale, uh, which is essentially where you just shoot the wrong way through the film. When I was loading up 35mm film into my 120 back, I guess I just had it around the wrong way. And so I shot through the back of it, which gave it this very red apocalyptic kind of look, which is cool in some cases. In fact, I think Lomo has a film that is red scale. They just took the film out, flipped around and put it back in the canister. So you can shoot that on purpose if you want to be artistic and make the world look like it's burning. But for the cherry blossoms, that's not really what I wanted. I wanted to get the light pinks and, and the stuff like that. But this time I wasn't going to do that. I was determined to get it right.
Now if you're wondering why these photos don't really look like Kodak Gold, uh, it's because I don't know. I don't know why. The colors in these photos turned out absolutely terrible. I don't know if the lab is just really bad at scanning. I don't know what kind of, I, I don't know what went wrong. Uh, but for some reason, yeah, the scans were really, really bad. So all of these photos have been touched up immensely in Lightroom, trying to correct all of those weird color casts that I was getting. As soon as I mentioned that, I looked to my left to see a couple taking selfies together on one of the selfie machines that were there. Um, and then they walked to the middle of the street and started taking photos of each other. And I, I kind of just knew that I had to do it. If I didn't do it at this moment, then I was never going to ever approach anyone ever again. It was too much of a perfect opportunity. So I very quickly built up my courage and sort of meandered over to them to do my best to try to talk to them. I sent them their photo a couple days later and they told me they really really loved it and they hope I have a good time in Korea and so that was just a sweet ending to a very very sweet interaction.
and that is the end of my cherry blossom adventure. I think there's still room for a third try to get the photos perfect because I spent a long time trying to make these photos look good again. Maybe next year, we'll see. Thank you very much for watching my first video in Korea. Have a good day or have a good night or don't. I'm not your mother. Uh, but whatever you do, don't let anyone call you. Don't let anyone call you. Goodbye.